Raise it higher, just so we can hear you, man. We don't want to like let it down in the story. Don't want to come on. Can we get some explosions? <laughs> yeah. Made that right now. That, that's on the way. All right. Then. Would you say like this is a big reason like why you, you know you wear your mask? Because I think your mask now is obviously like a signature yeah. to your music and like. This here, personally, right now, this isn't the CeeLo mask. Yeah, no, nah, nah, this don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah, don't this, get it twisted. The CeeLo mask is custom, okay? So, it's, so we're talking custom made. prestige, obviously. Like, the mask is definitely a big part of it. A lot of people do know my face already. Yeah, I yeah, have no qualms yeah. with that. But for the fact of the type of music that I release and the type of life that I did live previously, mm. obviously, inshallah, all my brothers that are still there, mm. hopefully we make it out, you know. I've, I've, I've turned my life around a little Good. bit more. But See. in the music side of things, I still prefer to keep my face, uh, you know. Yeah, hidden, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause, Cause the identity doesn't need to be known. I per personally, I don't like the public. <laughs> yeah. I don't like them so. When my when I'm getting more known now and people are starting to know me without the mask, mm -hmm. I'm like fuck. Is that getting a bit of a headache? Yeah, it's getting a bit of a headache, but it's one of them things where humbly I don't mind. Just approach me correctly. Mm -hmm. I don't mind even if you even if you're watching this podcast right now, <laughs> chilling at home, and you want to see me. You see you see me around town, let's say, because yo I'll be around, bro. I'm, I'm noticeable. If you see me, just be respectful and come up, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Don't be on no crazy shit because, you know, we don't need that. That's that's how ambulances get called and, and, and person. And bully vans, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, we don't need that. Yo, that's, yo, I'm not trying to not trying to touch Brittany, innit? Yeah. Free my guys, though. Free my, no, for real. Free my boys, innit? Free your times, free yourself, free your bugs. Obviously, shout out all of the South Dimes, all of them. Got to say the names, because that's bros that I'll be here with. Yeah. For real, that's the people I'll be growing up with. So, obviously, now like, you've kind of felt like, well, I feel like if you had this, like, kind of change in your life, you're like, okay, yeah, I want to move a bit smarter in it. Yeah. But, how, okay, when did that happen? And what has been, like, that your overall, your overall kind of experience of like living your life on the roads and and what like what have you learned? Like what's been like some of your darkest days? And I want to want to go through all of it, man. You know what? I was a mad year, you know. I'll be real. I was on robberies, bro. And like that that there is like like some young shit. I'm talking not not your house robberies or your car robberies. I was just a dude lifting shops, but yeah, like yeah. whether okay, whether I'd be lifting the peas or whether I'd just be lifting shops in general. Like I'll be walking in with a body warmer that's empty and coming out with about fifteen grams. Of sugar you know what i mean but like 15 kilograms of sugar but car like mum was just i'll be lifting i'll be lifting shit in shops drinks food fucking speakers as you do you're trying to make money as a kid yeah, every kid trying wants, to hustle in it yeah you gotta hustle and you know what every kid knows the drama of going hey mom mom you awake can I have a pound? I <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I'm a, my boy's at the door. My boy's at the door. Can I have a pound? Can I have a pound? I want to go get ice cream in it. If I'm the ice cream van, bro, get a drink. I listen, cost cost cut us open till seven, yeah. If you don't want to give me the pound now, I'll come back at 650. Yeah. 650. Just give me a pound. Just a pound. Just a pound. So one please. Pound. Like real talk, yeah. Everyone remembers. Oh, that was dope when you were 12, bro. And that was P. I'm talking. I could go to my local Costco at Southside. Everyone knows it, yeah. I could go there and people remember the days of having about a pound fifty. You're buying your whole lunch, bro. Yeah, facts. Yeah. You're buying a drink. You're coming out with some crisps. You're yeah. coming out with a baguette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my, my name ain't coming out with a sandwich. I said premium baguettes, bro. So it's one of them where like everyone's grafting for that for that money. And my thing there, I was so at one point. I remember I got I've, I've been banned in Sainsbury's. All every single Sainsbury's in Europe, I'm banned from. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I don't look like that little Maltese nigga no more though. So obviously, I still bop through Sainsbury's and get my nice little meal deal or something. Yeah. Car, stay, you gotta stay humble with what you eat out here as well, bro. So, yeah, like it came from that. I remember I was I was twelve and I was shitting it, bro. I was twelve years old, so it started young, and I was still rubbing before that as well. But I must have went into a Sainsbury's on one day and shit. I walked into the Sainsbury on some stupidness. I really just had a little Nike SB backpack, and if man them remember that from the days, yeah, I used to bop around the ends in a Nike SB backpack, yeah. But I'd carry the football in that, or I'd carry the shank. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, but it was like that. It was brazy, fam. So I think it's flipping kick off at seven, meet the ups at eight. Exactly that, fam. So I got the, I got, bro. I'm talking. I got the clocks in the bag for yeah. six p.m., seven p.m. I got the black air force on. And the, and the, and the ballet, bro. Exactly <laughs> that. Uh, is your girl over six foot? Tell her hop on a slide. Hop on, hop on a glide. If your gal is over six foot, she's going on a glide with us. Simple. But yo, hey, obviously, I walked in there with a backpack. I'm going through aisles and that. I'm stuffing through 
Bluetooth speakers. So oh yeah. Like, oh, so you're upgrading from the yeah. suites and everything so to like electronics. Yeah, yeah. What it is though, I was like a couple years later, this was 12 and I'm still doing speakers, but a couple years later, I'm rubbing more and suites were doing me profit, bro. Were they? It's yeah. Sweet, bro, I was hitting about 200 a week, bro, at the end of the week. You were hitting we'll two bills a we'll week? Get that, what we'll get the fuck? We'll get into that. Kidding, I'm bro. telling you now, it was nice for school. We'll get into Okay, that. we'll get in, but we'll put pin on that. We'll so put pin on that. Lag out. Man's out here in the middle of Sainsbury's near the pillowcase aisles and that, because no one walks up the Bed in aisles. Yeah. I'm stuffing through speakers, going back and forth. Security guard comes out as I'm as I'm exiting. I might have tried to buy something. After that, I tried to get to the exit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I see is some guy walking. Yeah, he's just like he's following you. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna take all that stuff out your bag, mate. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man. Was, no, that was that white man accent. Was, like, oh man, <laughs> tall white man. Tall white man. Are you um? Are you going to be taking that out of your bag, please, yeah. sir? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, would you like to hand over the stuff you were stolen? Uh, like, I'm like, yo, I was gonna come back and pay for this. Mum was gonna come and pay for this. Yeah, I was just yeah, going yeah. to borrow it, innit? Yeah. Like, yo. Obviously, obviously. Oh, fam, I'm coming back with the receipt. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, bro. I was coming back. Like that, fam. So obviously, it got sticky from there. And I'm Northfield Sainsbury's right now. And man, them's like in front of my face. I can't run. I'm not gonna run. Yeah, yeah. In my bag, I've got a blade. I'm equipped to go robbing. I've got a blade. Like, I'm gonna, like, like. I'm not, I'm not sitting there and saying that I'm about to hold up shop. <laughs> I'm not going to hold up Sainsbury's and that. Yo, they do some nice... Yo, yo, take that shit out of the tails, blood. I'm not going to lie. Sainsbury's do some nice cookies and that, but I'm not going to hold up their yeah, shop. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. bum, yo, I had the blade in the bag and I had a bunch of the speakers and shit. So, he's took me to the back and said, yeah, do you want to just come with me? What every single fed motherfucker said, do you want to just come with me, mate? <laughs> yeah, you know what they just, want? Just do that. You know they don't want to touch you, but so they just you bring out the hand. You want, you want to come with me? Yeah, stand in yeah, there, look, yeah, thinking yeah, of all yeah. bolo. Allow it, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. So he takes me to the back now and he sits man down. He's like, yeah, we got your face and we got your face. Listen, I can see what's in your bag. I'm like, yeah, what's in my bag then? And he goes, open it up. So I open up the front section. Now the blade's in the back. Keep in mind, the blade's in the back and he didn't even touch that. When, yeah, he's just took out the speakers, but I had a fridge in there, you know, the milkshakes, but yeah. oh, they're bang still, I can't lie. But I had one of them in there, took the speakers out. And he's just said like, yeah, we're gonna have to call up your mom or your bro. Yo, I was shitting it because I had to. Uh, he wouldn't let me oh, out, otherwise yeah. he was gonna, yeah. I, he said, feds are gonna get involved if like someone, a guardian doesn't come up. So, yo, my brother was pissed off. He had to come out of the yard, but oh, my, and my oh, older shit. brother in it, so like... Yeah, that's big time, man. Screw up, man, fam, and you know what, but I'm black, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you ain't noticed, but <laughs> man's black, bro. And and growing up, black household, and you know about getting beatings with a broom. Yeah, boom! Oh, nah, it, was a, it was a belt for me, bro. Belt, belt, fam, I got the. I think I got my mom's one hefty sandal once, like wooden, <laughs> ed, looking Egyptian and things. But I'm talking mummified sandal, hefty. She obviously used to grab the belt because that's just normal. But the broom, yo, when I used to get the beating, I uh, hit, uh, got hit up on my foot one time with a whole breeze. But I was a baller as well, fam. I couldn't ball for a good week. <laughs> I was a baller, but straight up. Bro. Okay, so like I feel like that is the beginning of it. So how did that progress? Like to like you were 16 or like 17, yeah. and we're going. To some more madness on that. Yeah, so obviously that's just robbery talk from them ages. And of course, shit got a bit sticky on the block. I mean, I was never personally ever someone to rip. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm, I'm known by association. You come around, a few people that I'll be with that do rip. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the things I like to kick back and stay away from them things. But, mm. you know, with beef that we want to we wanna talk on and like... I don't want to. I don't want to talk on the beef thing, but I'll talk on the terror. It's so growing terror, up, yeah. we had we had the word just terror. You want to go into south, then it's like you know about going on a terror with the guys. Mm. So I'm talking yard doors are either getting kicked through, <laughs> fucking random pedestrians, cars are getting smashed up. Like just you know what it is it. because we was rally kids. We was absolutely rally kids. Stupid because. Mm. How are you gonna feel if that's just random happening to your Marge or your dad? You, get me? Mm. you grow up and you start thinking about it and you deepen it like, these are just strangers and we're all bossing up the shit that they've paid for in life, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. like, but imagine you- yeah, That happens to you, innit? Yeah. Straight up from what you're gonna do if you just got rally kids running around the end, smash up your car, but they don't even know who you are. Mm. You don't even know them. Mm. Like, but it's crazy out here, fam. But that's the things that were happening. And obviously, police, police were involved. I got, I got slapped off on a one and a half year ban, basically. I couldn't leave my yard one and a half years. I was grounded, basically, yeah, on a house arrest house kind arrest. of thing. Yeah, but obviously, that was a thing <clears throat> where it had to get sorted out with the margin, West Midlands police. And I got put on a keep the, uh, a breach. 
keep the keep the peace. Obviously, don't breach it. Mm. Fucking that was there for two years because two I, yeah that for two, two years. years yeah I had that for two oh. years and I, I remember it was called kind of brick this guy's yard in it and it must have hit the window so and I felt raller for this in it because it was like yo I'm pretty sure you had a young sister in the yard and I was in the kitchen and mm. if the brick hit the window and, but, and it went for and hit her bro it could have yeah. that's what I'm saying man and you know what it is you look on this shit when you grow up a bit and you're like. What was I doing, what bro? Was I doing that yeah. for? You know what I mean? Like, like these stories there, these stories there ain't on no, ain't on no bragging thing. This mm. is just where I've came from came doing from either fuckeries. And there's obviously you, you guys have got to respect and understand that there's certain things I can't speak about. Mm. And that's where like, I'm only giving you guys a softer side of shit. Mm. But even this stuff here is absolutely raving when you're thinking about it. These are people's families, you know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. Like I'm talking, everyone, everyone knows a madness where you're just with mad, like big group. And you just feel it untouchable, innit? You feel it yeah, invincible, yeah, and It's like a feel, pack mentality, innit? Exactly, it? bro. It's, it's one of them things with the with the pack mentality. You got a bunch of people rolling around. Like I remember one time in South Halloween got very very crazy, but yeah. and Halloween is just it's a devilish time of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out all my atheists and, and and all that that don't believe in God. But you know me personally, fam, I believe there's someone up there. But I was still down for some devilish movements on Halloween, and I'm talking, yo. I remember we. We had the whole of South packed off with about six or seven bully vans on each. You're joking, really? Joking. Listen, because, okay. What South, were you boys doing, bro? Green Meadow, Green Meadow, everyone knows Green Meadow Park if you're from South. We was around from Manor Park up to near fucking Square Side, Wheelie Castle Square Side to Green Meadow. We're bopping through the whole of South Strip on Halloween and we have bully vans going each and every road on us. Like these times we're going through shops with backpacks on our front of the chest. Woof! I'm no, just but, grabbing wacky no, shit in, yeah, 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 yeah. You got your corner shot. Woof! Pack it down in the bag, blood and run. Absolutely go, bro. Like yo, <laughs> like just like that because because we had no care. We was way too brazen, and it wasn't like we wasn't raised with respect or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just we felt untouchable, blood. Mm. Yeah, no one could touch man. I, I think like that's uh something interesting you point on there. It's like I feel like when you get a group of men together in it, mm -hmm. and like you, you know you're all kind of on like a you got so much masculinity, so, so much energy in one spot, man. You mm -hmm. feel like like that's why like if, like men have always kind of been like gangs. Or armies exactly. and it, like you know they're always exactly. when, when there's a group of men together like and you're all kind of strong men and like you're all kind of doing mad shit you feel untouchable man and you feel like you can get away with anything now fortunately obviously sometimes that goes a bit too that goes left goes a bit too left and then you're on a bit of a madness but imagine you use that energy in a good way yeah, that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? Imagine, like, like we said cooking earlier, like, you know, you're on your music team, we're making this, you know, you surround yourself with more people on that kind of, like, that energy, but in a good way. Do you know, know what, what I mean? I've done that now, coming up towards, like, okay, so school, bang, I'll just bust through this little one real quick. With school, making 200 a week, that was, like, operations at that point. Like, I'm talking, I'd come in and I'm making sure people know what's on the list for the week. So I'm going up West Brom a one weekend with about two people. I'm all there hoisting. I'm talking, we're coming back with a backpack full or a duffel bag full, whether it was chewing gums, vapes, crisps, to drinks, to sweets, to chocolates, whatever. I was on some like Dow Boy shit, like straight. It's not selling in school, but like, I was, uh, this ain't no stock market. This is, you want your sweets, but. <laughs> you, you want Yo, your happy bars, bro. You want your strawberry twisters. Like, trying to give me 50 pence and that, yeah. for something that's a quid, I'll be like, no, no, <laughs> no, yeah. no, I'm losing profit, bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, it was yeah. that serious.